That is not a normal sight at all. It's just silent. This is like Walking Dead or something. Look at all the Ryan airs. This is weird. Right, let's get out of here, let's get out of here, let's get out of here. Right, welcome back guys. Hope everyone's doing all right during these really crazy times. So, as of now, um, we've been told to stay in, um, to basically kind of isolate um, and stay away from people at all costs. Um, only kind of go out for essential journeys, things like, well, basically to go and get food and um, to go to work if it's absolutely necessary. So, as you know, I work from home, so uh, both me and Sarah do, so it's not really a problem um, for us that way. Um, and also, you are allowed to go out. I say, you know, you are allowed to go out for like a bit of exercise. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take the e-bike out, which is a good thing. So yeah, weird, just weird times, but I hope everyone's staying safe and staying out of it. I mean, the re really the best thing to do is to stay away from people. I can't believe some of the stuff I'm seeing across social media with packed tube trains and stuff. I can't believe that all those people need to be doing that. It's just, it's madness. This thing spreads literally like the plague and it, it's just not gonna go away unless people kind of really kind of step up and say, look, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna do this for the good of everyone um, and all that. So yeah, anyway, we're gonna try and have some fun today on the e-bike, do a bit of off-road, and also might check out Stansted Airport as well and see what's happening around there um, because, yeah, it's gone awfully quiet over there um, and I might kind of factor that into my my route. So before anyone says anything, I'm going out solo. I'm not going out with anyone else, not even anyone from the family. Wonder what that noise was, the bike must have slipped over. That's what I'm going out on. Right, time for a nice little bit of off-road. Oh, so much better now, it's dried out a bit. Whoa, he says as it's actually quite slippery around here. Oh, the back end's going all over the place. Oh, so brilliant around here. Yeah, you've got to watch that at the moment then. Could be nice and dry and then all of a sudden, you're going to hit something a bit wet. It's not a problem. It's one advantage of living right on the countryside. You can just basically go out do your own thing and nobody's actually not near anyone so my little escapades aren't putting anyone in danger really unless I come off and then end up taking up a hospital bed I suppose that might be a bit selfish oh whoa slidey slidey son so let's have a bit of a chat then so what's been going on I mean with this coronavirus it's just so crazy I just can't can't get my head around it and as I've said before because I work from home and because me and Sarah are based, based from home most of the time anyway um, and we don't have any kids so you know there's nothing to worry about with schools and things like that being closed but I mean today was just crazy we went out and you know to get briefly go and get like um, some supplies because we started to run out I mean we hadn't ever panicked bought anything or anything like that we just basically really just bought what we normally get um, and we do kind of normally live pretty day to day we, we kind of you know get a few bits here and there um, you know but which we happen to not do so much now because obviously the advice is you know don't keep going out and keep going to the supermarkets and stuff like that so you know we haven't been doing that but um, it's just meant obviously you know once a week we go and get some uh, get some shopping but it's just crazy today i've not seen it like this before but there were queues outside the supermarkets and um you know it, we a couple of supermarkets we just turned away from because we just thought nah just avoid the people and tried to go to sort of more smaller shops um you know around our local area so this is normally a really busy car park like literally there is just so many cars normally and there's nothing really just feels very quiet around here. Let's go and head up to uh, up to nearby the airport. This is great, this bit. If you need ever near around here, this is a brilliant place to come. It's not very long though. So there's the airport. I mean, that is not a normal sight. That is not a normal sight at all. 
there's literally no cars in that car park and there's birds flying above the airport. I don't know if you can see that. There's definitely a lot less flights um, today. I don't think I've seen one today. It's just silent. This is like Walking Dead or something. Yeah, this is weird. This is weirding me out. There's just, you can hear birds as well, which you can, can't normally hear from over here. Nothing on this road as well. Whoa, look at all the Ryanairs over there. Just parked and still. That's weird actually, because normally, I don't think they're that close. It's like they haven't got enough room to kind of keep them all in where they normally are. But they're all basically just grounded. So weird guys, right. I'm gonna go down and get a closer look. I would expect to see some uh, some police around here. I mean, technically, I'm allowed to be out because I'm allowed to do some exercise. Absolute ghost town. Look at the birds. And I keep saying it, but it just seems really, really weird. This is super weirding me out right now. Oh yeah. All right, no more. Alright, I've done my lap. Let's get out of here. As far as you can see, there's just tail fins everywhere. Let's get out of here. This looks steep, let's go up here. Oh, it's me old. There it is. I can only really describe this as being like a Sunday or it's not even a Sunday because there's there's like no people about it's more like I don't know like a New Year's Day or something Now this, in the week, there would be no one down here in the week. And now, apparently this was packed at the weekend. It was just, because everybody's been turfed out. There's a natural park over there, and everybody's been turfed out of that. Um, but, yeah, this is a lot, lot, lot busier than normal. Oh, I put a fence there, what's going on? 
probably to stop idiots like me. Right, this is what I'm talking about up here. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. I don't think there's as many people as there were a minute ago. No, they've stopped the queuing. But there's literally, I can see that there's literally nothing in that shop from here. No fruit and veg. Pretty much nothing. Right, set up to the back of the airport, back up to the runway. I can see something up here, I don't know what that is. It's like a tent. It's definitely some, some kind of car or something up here. 